closer are actually crossbow bolts. They ju they're just sticks, but they were used <laughs> as crossbow bolts. <laughs> That's true, they didn't say crossbow bolts, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. I, I, I will pretend it's a small and delicate crossbow that wouldn't shatter sticks in half. <laughs> We're <Yeah>. perfectly designed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those people from Babel slash Alavast think of everything when they invent crossbows. <laughs> Alrighty. Are we ready? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, then, starting in... Three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Pixels. Koku is here with Saku and Raj and we are continuing Ace Attorney Investigations. Yeah, welcome back, Rush. Welcome Thank back. You. I can hear everything again. <laughs> Yay! You might not want to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Let's see what fresh hail Ace Attorney's cooked up for me. <laughs> it appears that I have no choice now but to rush in. There is a piece of evidence that will point us to who the mysterious mastermind is. Oh god. That's that's where we've got to, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't It was Manny Cochin. I don't even I've remember what, what we were talking about before. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, let's see. Uh, man, I can't remember either. Let me look at this. Okay. He's not happened. Doesn't happen to be holding a pair of chopsticks or something, <laughs> does he? I think it <laughs> might be. I think it might be this, since it shows us the uh, what to call it, the flag. But I'm not sure. Uh, well, I, I can't help you. <laughs> in true you, tradition, you missed just, like 30 yeah. minutes of this game and you are lost. You do not know what has <laughs> happened. <laughs> Present everything and, you know, they're actually crossbrows. I'm glad it does say that. <laughs> okay, okay, it does say that, yep. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for a start, they're called crossbow Bolts. Bolts. Localization <laughs> team. <laughs> For another thing, if a woman walked around with crossbow bolts in her hair, she would not be able to hold her head up. <laughs> <laughs> Edgeworth's doing it with a ceiling fan right now. Is he? Well, I thought he was, yeah. thought he was saving himself for Phoenix, but there you go. <laughs> um, hmm. I can't remember what they were talking about. Yeah, neither can I. <laughs> but if it's a who, then it's it's got to have a person involved. Or... Well, it's a piece of evidence who, that hmm. will point us to who the mastermind is. I know who the mastermind... Well, I mean, I'm sure we all do at this point, but... <laughs> uh, I just don't know... Try the one with the flag, just in case. Okay. I mean, you've got a lot of, like... It was uh, the ninja. <laughs> <laughs> And this is it. Yeah, I know, it wasn't that. <laughs> Where's my real dessert? How long do you intend to keep it from me? I mean... That piece of evidence isn't satisfying at all! Oh god, this is my worst nightmare. <laughs> I haven't satisfied him. <laughs> Stop being so picky with your food. <laughs> Okay. We've got some other stuff. The person who connected the trick used um, to smuggle the statues, or concocted the trick. Oh. I should already have the piece of evidence that shows who that is. Might be the flowers, then. I just have to present it, no matter what the cost. Oh, yeah! Because they were the ones who knew everything about the flowers. Mm-hmm. Uh, where are they? There they are. Take that. Yeah. The smuggling could not have been possible without the use of the crossbow. Furthermore, the arrows that were shot by the crossbow were plucked, as it were, from the flower box in this very room. 
They were planted so long ago that the passion flowers had the time to grow so big. That Ms. Von Karma didn't even notice the arrows when she visited this room today. On top of all this, the fact that the culprit knew that both officers had ceiling fans tells us the person has very detailed information on the embassy's layout. So as you may have already guessed, the person I am accusing of hatching this plan is the person who grew the flowers in the flower box with the utmost care. Thus it can only be you, Quercus Alba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Are you out of my your mind, Miles Edgeworth? I'm certain of what I'm saying, and I'm sure that he is the culprit. I mean, his name's Quercus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a funny name. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Prosecutor. What was the ambassador trying to accomplish by doing all that stuff you just outlined? Why in the world would he need to use a trick like that? I understand your need to doubt me. He doesn't need to doubt you, Ezra. <laughs> he just does. <laughs> However, there is one thing that stands out to me as very odd. the one single end result Ambassador Alba sought to obtain. If we were to examine the focus of this complex trick, I believe we will finally find the answer to everything. Everything will become clear once we examine this piece of evidence. Cookie. <laughs> it's my cookie. Yeah. Is it the real one that we give, or the fake one? The real one. I would fully understand the reasoning had the situation been the reverse. However, to go through the trouble of swapping the real Primadoc statue for the fake... I sense a very shady reason for such a bizarre action. Who better to ask for that reason than King Primadox himself? I see. Ambassador, we'll be examining that statue now, with or without your permission. <laughs> Did he die? Is he dead? <laughs> I think he's just constipated. With his sword drawn like that, there's an aura of valor and bravery around King Primadox. He looks so cool, standing like that with a sword stuck in the ground in front of him. Hmm, maybe I should try and come up with some cool poses with a shuriken or something. I'm seriously beginning to think that her real goal in life is to become a ninja. Ninja, yeah. the, eh. <laughs> hey, Mr. Prosecutor, there isn't anything particularly odd about that sword, right? No, not really. I suppose we should examine a different area of the statue now. What about the bootay? Hmm, let's see if we can just... And maybe <laughs> under here? Uh, the amount of times I've spent looking at game character skirts. <laughs> These are Mr. Kochan's fingerprints. He had great big yoi hands. <laughs> the fact they're on here suggests this statue once belonged to Babel. So, it was smuggled from Babel to Alabast, huh? Why was there a need for them to smuggle it in? Why? Hmm, this guy kind of looks like the Steel Samurai, don't you think? Maybe it's because they look alike that he was picked to be the Goodwill Ambassador. A 
I suppose that's possible. Hmm. Take a look at this area around the base of his neck. It looks like a gap. Hey, you're right. Maybe it's meant to be some kind of secret. Perhaps it's possible to open the statue from this gap in its construction. What? Hurry up and open it, Miles. Alright, here goes. Wow, it really did open up. Hey, what's this thing that fell out? Hmm. I believe a more thorough examination of it is required. What in the... Is this... Is this what I think it is? It's a Wonka bar! It's a plate! Oh, Wonka bar. For making <laughs> counterfeit bills! Same thing. I got a golden ticket. <laughs> Somehow it appears that we've at long last arrived. At the exit to this complex labyrinth. Can't wait for that dryad to spring to life and start trying to choke him out. <laughs> <laughs> we finally hold within our hands one of the counterfeit money plates. And the reason why the replica was smuggled into Alabas to begin with. Oh, he's so tiny. <laughs> oh, it is tiny. Well, Tiny's it looks right. so much bigger when you're like, in, like inspecting it, like in yeah. room and shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see all that time back when I made like a big fuss over the handprint. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but the crossbow bolts are still. Hmm. No, no, the crossbow bolts can get to. <laughs> <laughs> the Primaduck statue can only be handled by the ambassador or the secretariat. And the replica is nothing more than a hollow shell covered in gold. These two circumstances make the statue the ideal object in which to hide contraband. After receiving the statue containing the counterfeit plate from Shina, the ambassador had the misfortune of accidentally running into Demand II. Surprised by the thief, the ambassador raised the replica statue at Demand II and. Then, in order to frame the steel samurai, he covered the samurai sword in blood. Well, Ambassador Alba. You're the leader of the smuggling ring? My country is a mess. And it's all because of you! You're the one who killed the Master Second? Answer us. I never thought... I never thought that you would figure things out to this level. Hmm. However, there is one point I disagree with you on. The head of the smuggling ring was... Mr. Cochin. Quite screwing around! <laughs> <laughs> Indeed! <laughs> I have no sympathy for someone who would try to pass the guilt onto a dead man. If there's one thing I'm sure of, it's that you are the real ringleader, Quarkus Alba! It's not good to speak with such subjectivity, you know, Agent Lang. Subjectivity. My conclusion is anything but, and is the result of logic and investigation. Uh, logic and investigation? Didn't you say two cases ago logic doesn't <laughs> matter? <laughs> <laughs> Only seconds ago, you were ready to arrest Miss Van Karma. 
Yeah, and right now I'm telling you to eat my app. <laughs> I mean, if you ask politely. <laughs> I don't think we can give such flip floppy logic any real weight, do you? Hmm? Mm hmm? It looks like you still don't get why I came back. Excuse me. You see, the reason I came back... ...is so that I could sink my fangs into your wrinkly old neck! Ooh. Oh, man. So jelly right now. <laughs> From the very beginning, my real target has been you! Heartbroken. What? Heijin to Lang, I demand an explanation! Sorry, sis. I didn't mean to put you through all that. I knew you were innocent from the very beginning. You did? I knew that this whole incident has been meticulously planned and prepared for. So naturally, the occupant of this room, Ambassador Alba, seemed the most suspicious. But without the Ambassador's permission, we couldn't get in and take another look around. Ah, so that's why you put on this big show to accuse Francisca of the murder. <laughs> Using Francisca as the bait, you were able to gain us entry and investigative rights. I just get lost in your eyes and it makes me unable to talk. <laughs> I'll sink my teeth into your supple neck later. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay, I heard there was a lot of flirting. Again. I heard there was a lot of flirting in the episode I missed, so I'm just making up for lost time. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, if I hadn't done that, I doubt the ambassador would have given the okay to poke around. So that's what all that was about. Very well, I will forgive you. Yeah. But, in exchange for using me as bait, uh -oh. you will take some responsibility and help us find the truth. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you got off easy, Agent Lang. <laughs> you don't want a dom to say that to you. <laughs> Agent Lang, for giving me such a great opening, I thank you. Freezing. <laughs> you know, I just knew, Mr. Prosecutor, that somehow, if we were able to find some proof by investigating this room, that you would be able to figure out the real culprit with your special brand of logic. <laughs> the evidence. Detectives collect, combined with the logic of the prosecutor. That's just as it should be in our prosecutor detective team, right? I don't know about all that. But one thing I do know is that I'm itching to see that old man get what's coming to him. Oh, 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 you're quite scary when you want to be, aren't you? You were the one planning to use me to push all the guild onto the sis. But unfortunately for you, you misjudged me! Agent Lang, I wish for you to stop trying to intimidate me. What we need right now is evidence and proof. I wonder if you have what is necessary to prove that I am the head of the smuggling ring? Objection! Don't be such a sore loser! If you really are the head of the smuggling ring, then you should acknowledge your crimes with dignity. Uh, if everyone was more like you, friend, it would be a better place.
Dignity. That is nothing more than a fool's insincere display of strength. If you really wish for me to acknowledge my crimes, then I would like to first see some of this thing you call evidence. <sighs> I tell you, I knew nothing, really. I didn't even know that a counterfeit plate was hitting inside that statue. You swapped a real statue that vet vested in your country the authority to rule for a fake. It doesn't make any sense that you didn't know anything. It doesn't make sense. Where doesn't it make sense? In your face. <laughs> Can you prove that it doesn't make sense? <sighs> He's really got us. He's turned the entire situation around against us. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> The proof that interval has been after, which points to this man as the ringleader. If we can somehow find that proof now, then we can see to it that justice is finally served. Is there nothing I can use to break this case wide open? The trump card and the videotape. With those two items. We might be able to finally bring this man down. But... The card is evidence from a case that Mr. Faraday hid away in secret. And the tape was stolen by Detective Bad from the police. They're both illegal evidence. No matter what, the, the protector of the law can't be allowed to use such pieces of evidence. Oh yeah, sure, I was him. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say. We thought commas are commanded to achieve nothing but victory. And by any means necessary. The only way to bring someone like that to justice was to do so outside of the court. That's what we thought at the time. I'm having an existential crisis right now. I no longer follow the path of Manfred von Karman. And I won't follow the path of the Yatagarasu. This leaves me with what? What creed will I believe in? If I want to pursue the truth, then I will sully my hands in illegality. If I want to pursue justice, then I will lose the truth. What is the law, and what is justice? And which path is a prosecutor supposed to follow? That choice is one I must make by my own hand, here and now. Ah! <laughs> What are you gonna do? Use it. Fuck it. Be a maverick. <laughs> <laughs> There's no limit to the law. Any limit that exists was set there by man. 
listen to how I'm going to justify doing something illegal. <laughs> when a person goes beyond that limit, then the law too crosses into new territory. For what reason were laws invented? The answer to that is what I must now show. I think I fixed it in my own head so I can deal with this. Ambassador Alba, I wonder if you might recognize this. Oh, I wonder what that card is. I have never seen that before in my life. If he was innocent and he said that, you would just b suspect the share of him for that response, wouldn't you? Just, <laughs> just, ew, just, ew, just ew, now. <laughs> <laughs> deary, deary me, ew. <laughs> I've never seen that Manny Cochen before in my life. <laughs> it's a director's card used by the leader of the ring to relay instructions to his subordinates. Oh, is that what it is? This card was sent to the real culprit behind the KG-8 incident ten years ago. A man by the name of Mr. Manny Cochin. <laughs> oh, so why do you have such a card in your possession? Because it was hand-delivered to me by a certain great thief, the Yatagarasu. The Yatagarasu gave that to you? Don't talk nonsense and let's be serious, Mr. Edgeworth. Do you have any proof that the card contains directions from the ringleader? I'll have you know that the card is not the only thing I was given. What? This contains security footage that was shot just before the start of the KG-8 incident. The KG-8 incident. The card and the video. These two pieces of evidence are what will seal your fate. Oh, very interesting. I must admit, I am very curious now. Very curious indeed in these case-deciding pieces of evidence you've presented. The prey the Atagarasu has been chasing all this time now stands before I can't allow this man who has had free reign for ten long years to simply walk away. Now is the time for me to bring to fruition the valiant spirit that was given to me. March 15th, 1.34 a.m. Theatrum Neutralis Lobby. And with that, we will end this episode right here. Thank you folks for joining us, and see you next time. Bye-bye.